Knobby tire or street tire? That is the question. Hi, Gabe here, and this is a basic guide on the differences between the two main tire types. And hopefully by the end, this will make your decision on which to get a little easier. Now, I know there are a lot of different specific tire options with vastly different characteristics and traits, nuances, but I think for the simplicity and sake of video length, I'm just gonna go over the basics on street tires and knobby tires. There are two main differences that set the ride experience apart between the two tire types, and that is grip and cornering behavior. When on the street, traction comes from the amount of rubber you have on the ground. As a surprise to nobody, a street tire will always have better traction on the asphalt than a knobby, even in the rain. Conversely, the smooth street tire slips around in loose dirt, while knobby tires gain traction by digging in and grabbing the soft material. The choice seems obvious then. Street for street, knobby for dirt. Not quite. On a casual wheel like the Falcon, not many people are pushing the limits of grip on their daily commutes, and having the option to handle off-roading, or even just trusting your grip on grass is a plus. The next and arguably biggest difference between the two types is the cornering feel. Simply put, at the same speed, street tires cause a wheel to tilt less in a turn than their knobby counterparts. This gyro effect allows wheels with a street tire to corner faster before pedal scraping. A pretty huge bonus if you're looking to shave off a second or two from your lap times. That being said, a lot of force gets applied to your ankle and lower leg thanks to the wheel's stubbiness, whereas on larger wheels running street tires, the gyro effect isn't as bothersome because there's a lot more wheel for your leg to push against. The ability of a knobby tire to lean lends itself to increased comfort at the cost of scraped pedals, and a less snappy response back to center when exiting a turn. Which one is for you? It depends. Want a comfortable and versatile ride with adequate grip on pavement with the ability to handle off-road demands? Go for the knobby. Want to rip around the streets with the confidence you won't put the pedal or slip out? Go for the street. Ultimately, the decision won't be as black and white as this, as you need to weigh your own riding preferences to fit. But hopefully I've provided enough useful information to assist your decision. <laughs>